Panna Tiger Reserve in Madhya Pradesh initially stood for everything that went wrong with tiger conservation and now stands for everything that is going right. In 2009, it was declared tigerless and in 2014, it stands at 30 tigers. This turnaround was possible because tigers were relocated to Panna from three other parks, Bandavgad, Kanha and Penj in Madhya Pradesh, who then became the source population. While words like reintroduction and relocation are easy to say, they're complicated to actually put in practice. One of the reasons why tigers have thrived here in Panna is because the team monitors them 24-7. Really, the success here is a very human reason for it, isn't it? This kind of teamwork that evolved. So don't you think that that's really the framework in which tiger conservation should work in the country and not everyone at sort of odds with each other? That's the biggest lesson I would say, actually. We knew for sure that uh, it was an external, it was kind of an external element uh, which made this uh, whole, uh, the debacle to happen in uh, Panna. It's, it's an also a demonstration if, if a government missionary wants, things can happen again. So creating the teamwork was essential part of it. Uh, when we conceived this whole program, we had a very clear uh, strategy with uh, the state government owning of the program and Wildlife Institute providing the technical support and the Chief Wildlife Warden and the Director of Wildlife Institute forming a team. And we had a team constituted for the source sites where we are picking up the animal from and the release sites. So it's actually this, the players, so five players were working together made this possible. Whatever you see now in Panna has actually has come from several people from several points in time. <laughs> The whole process would have been impossible without this man's expertise, Dr. Sanjeev, the vet, who would tranquilize and ensure the physical safety of the animals. Tranquilizing wild animals is an art form in itself. Often such tranquilizations can go wrong and animals can end up dead. No one wanted that here, especially with the tigers. The world was watching and Panna had to get it right. हम जब एनिमल को ट्रैंकुलाइज करते हैं तो ट्रैंकुलाइज करने के बाद 20 से 25 मिनट में एनिमल के पास अप्रोच करते हैं कंप्लीट सेडेशन अवस्था में हमारी सारी टीम एक साथ काम करती है विद 10 मिनट मिनिमम हमको 5 मिनट लगता है 5 मिनट एनिमल को हैंडल करते हैं अगर हमको फील्ड में कॉलरिंग करना है छोड़ना है वंस द एनिमल्स वर इन द पार्क दे वर ऑल फिटेड विद रेडियो कॉलर्स एंड आर मॉनिटर 24/7 while the tigers did their job, which was to settle into the park and mate and have cubs, the real success in Panna's story was the team. Murthy has made it his life mission to make the impossible possible. Working 24-7, 365 along with his team, in five years he has managed to bring Panna from zero to hero. Today the park stands at over 25 tigers. At any given point of time there is one team monitoring an adult tiger. With eyes on them all the time, the animals have thrived and not fallen prey to poaching. We work in three teams. We work in three teams for 12 hours and work in three hours. और तीनों टीम 24 घंटे टाइगर्स को मॉनिटरिंग फॉलो करते हैं टाइगर के मूवमेंट की जानकारी किल की जानकारी ये सब एक हम लोग के पास एक रजिस्टर होता है मॉनिटरिंग पंजी उसमें प्रति प्रत्येक घंटे उसको नोट करते हैं The radio telemetry system allows them to have an idea of where the tigress or the tiger are at all times. Some of the guards are so zealous that when one of the tigresses lost her radio caller, this man tracked her on foot for days without going home. कि तू एक टाइगर था दो नंबर बागन थी जो उसके रेडियो कॉलर नहीं थी इसके पूर्व में एक लखनलाल नांगर थे परिचय साहे तो वे ट्रैक करते थे उसके लिए फिर उनके स्थान पर मेरी ड्यूटी लगाई गई तो हम दोनों मिलकर उसको करते थे तो उसकी रेडियो कॉलर नहीं थी धीरे धीरे उसको ट्रैक करते रहते थे सुबह अर्ली मॉर्निंग निकलते थे मेरे को ये ध्यान नहीं होता था कि मेरे को कब खाना खाना है और कब नहाना है कब मंजन करना है तो जब तक उसके इतना धीरे धीरे रहते रहते उसका इतना लगाव हो गया कि जब तक उसके पग मार गए या कोई निशान ना मिल जाए तब तक मेरे को खाना की इच्छा नहीं होती थी एक वर्ष तक लगातार ऐसे ही चलता रहा और कभी कभी तो ऐसी नौबत आ गई कि टीटू हमारी वो ऐसी पहचान की हो गई कि हमें उसको ट्रैक करते हुए चले गए 
और अगर सामने टाइगर बैठा हुआ है तो वो आवाज़ कर देते हैं तो हम लोगों को ये क्लियर हो जाता था कि यहाँ टाइगर बैठा हुआ है और एक दो बार एक दो बार का कई बार ऐसा हुआ है कि जैसे गाड़ी एक बार रामपथ था तो मेरे से बोला सर यहाँ बच्चा है तो मैं बच्चा चल फोटो ले आते हैं तो फोटो लेने के लिए चले जा रहे थे तो जाके ऐसे जब पास में पहुंच जाते हैं तो वहाँ टीटू बैठी थी टीटू बैठी थी वो उसके चारों सावक बैठे हुए थे तो वहाँ से एक बच्चा कहता हाउ तो वहाँ से दहाड़ को भागता है तो टीटू भी वहाँ से दहाड़ी और मेरे को जो मालूम नहीं था कि यहाँ और भी बच्चे छिपे हो गए एक देखा तो लास्ट में एक बच्चा यहाँ जैसे कटन नाली नाली होती है नाली की जड़ों में उस बच्चा मेरे पैर के पास बैठा था पैर के मैं ऐसे खड़ा रहा मैं उसकी टीटू की और बच्चों की फ़ोटो लेता रहा मेरे को किसी प्रकार कोई भय नहीं लगा फोटो आराम से लेके और मैं थोड़ा ऐसा हटा हटने के बाद ऐसा थोड़ा वो किया और एक बच्चा कहता हाउ यहाँ से मेरे पैर के पास से और निकल गया तो उसका ट्रैक करते रहे ऐसी उसके चारों बच्चे लास्ट में ऐसे घूमने को आते थे जब मैं उसके जाते थे हाथी पे बैठ के एलिफेंट थे तो जाते जाते अगर उसके पास में पहुँच गया पास में जाने को उसके फोटो ले वापस आते थे तो चारों बच्चे मेरे को पहचान रहे थे पहचानने के साथ वापसी भी आते थे छोड़ने के लिए और उनको बाय कह देते थे तो वो वापस लौट जाते थे एंड द ग्राउंड स्टाफ फॉलोड द एग्जांपल सेट बाय मिस्टर मूर्ति हु ऑफन अकंपनीज देम ऑन देयर ड्यूटीज जब से साहब ये मूर्ति साहब फील्ड डायरेक्टर साहब आए हैं यहां पन्ना में तब से यहां अभी मतलब 23 टाइगर्स का प्रोग्रेस हुआ है और मतलब 24 घंटे में करीब-करीब मेरे हिसाब से अभी 23 घंटा 22 घंटा वर्किंग करते हैं वो और कभी वर्किंग के सामने किसी भी चीज को वो आगे नहीं रखते अपार्ट फ्रॉम मैन पावर टेक्नोलॉजी हैज आल्सो प्लेड अ मेजर रोल इन दिस रोड टू रिकवरी पन्ना आई मीन इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग दैट यू आर यूजिंग सम ड्रोन्स दिस द होल रेडियो टेलीमेट्री सो हाउ इज दैट वर्क टू मी टेक्नोलॉजी एज अ सॉल्यूशन इन इन अ वे दैट विद द फ्यूअर पीपल गेटिंग इन्वॉल्व्ड एंड वी कैन मैनेज अ लार्ज बिट ऑफ थिंग्स इफ यू यूज अ टेक्नोलॉजी वेरी स्मार्टली इन पन्ना the technology has been a great success with the, the tracking team using uh, the telemetry uh, vhf technology is basically you have a collar and people could know where the animals are secondly we have also experimented several other technology using a gps collar satellite based collar and drone as you said which we are now going to use also we are thinking of using a virtual fence where we could actually put a sensor network in, in the entire park we know when the animal going out when human come in There are a few more heroes in the story the elephants who make it possible for the team to follow the tigers in all terrains There are places in the forest that only the elephants can get to We experienced just how difficult some of the terrain can be when we followed the tigress with her cubs for a while when T3 did his bunk and went back towards Pench it was elephants that followed him While we were in Panna one of the male cubs a cub born here in Panna and an adult now was on the move towards Bandavgarh National Park in an age old path that used to exist Now this path criss crosses with roads railways and villages three elephants are following him to ensure his safety until he reaches Bandavgarh If he does then it will be one more success story as this is the bigger idea of tiger conservation not just small populations in protected areas and isolated parks but populations that can mix and move across a diverse tiger landscape ensuring their future survival and this is where the biggest forest conservation skill comes in dealing with local people where do you think we failed in our conservation where we've really ignored the stakeholders at a level and when i say stakeholders i don't mean people directly involved in the park i'm talking about people who live in and around these parks and who actually have to live with these animals yeah i i don't think it, it, we should call this as a failure it's it's a process where we wanted to we had an objective mm. we probably could not accomplish the way we wanted to do it the reason to me uh, is the inability to communicate the conservation as a service rather than something stored for the future i think that's the the contradiction that is not being accepted by people there are people who are still struggling for the current generation we talk we communicate conservation for future generation so that's one fallacy that we have secondly i think everything is revolves around economy the many of the time when you have a development projects coming up i many conservationists do not uh, kind of provide space for these things then we have an additional problem coming in engaging stakeholders from the beginning probably the best way forward for conservation